NX1 variables in CG. In order to use store or convey values, we will use variables. A variable has a type, a name, and a value. We choose the type depending on the kind of value we want to assign. Here are some examples. If you want to store a 2D texture, we'll use sampler 2D. We can use boolean variables with the bool type. Its value is either 1 or 0. For the floating point values, we can use float, half or fixed depending on use and the desired precision. That's the basics. But we can go further. We can, in a single variable, store two, three, or four floating point values. These kinds of variables are usually called vector. One interesting particularity of a vector is the possibility to work with each of its values very easily. Indeed, each value of the vector are called a component, and each component tied in with a letter. Let's say we have a vector named color equals to 2,3,4,5. Then color RGBA, color XYZW, or color STPQ are a similar way to write this vector where R, X, and S are equals to 2. G, Y, and T are equals to 3. B, Z, and P are equals to 4. And A, W, and Q are equals to 5. Following the same idea of the vector, it is possible to create an array of floating point values called matrix. It was a brief summary of the variables in CG language. To go further into details, please check the links in the descriptions. Thanks for watching, see you next time.